Hello all, Shoestring here. Today we're answering the question, do cheap, inexpensive AGM batteries that you can get online, do they last and are they any good? So I decided to answer the question, I would show you three batteries that I have that I've used in many videos and they get a great deal of work. I don't use these batteries every day, but most days I do, and they're pretty good workhorses for what I do. This first one, Universal Battery AGM type, is, like it said from Universal, it is a 100 amp hour AGM. Oh, just so you'll know, when I say AGM and sealed lead acid, like that one, or even gels, I throw all them in the same category. I know, I know, the chemistry is different, but how you take care of them and how you can use them is all pretty much the same. So, I will be using the term interchangeably. Okay, let's start with this first one, this AGM type battery that says, by the way, AGM and sealed lead acid both. So, good for them. Get you down here where you can see some of the specs on it, okay? I've had this about three years. I used it on one of my very first videos, which was about two years ago. I use it a lot. I use this one for all types of purposes here at the house. In fact, I did a video on my very first mobile cart, how to have a mobile cart and create your own solar generator. This is one of the batteries I use to start this out. So, it's about three years old. It is still pulling a good charge. It still charges up well. And it only cost me about $170, I think. Uh, they're about 200 I think they're still under $200, though. Now, you can get AGM batteries for a lot more. Of course, you can get lithium for a whole lot more. But AGM, for most part, works really, really well. Now, some advantages of having this one over having wet lead acid. And let me tell you, wet lead acid is great. I still use them. But different from that, this one you can use in the house. It's safe to use inside. It's not going to vent. And that's the main thing, that. And you can put it in any direction you want. You can set it upside down. You can set it sideways. You can turn it over. And it will not spill. So you can use this any kind of configuration you want. So, this is the first one. I've had it for three years. It has not lost charge, and it is still running great. So, long term, I think three years is long term, and it's doing really well. Next one we have here. This is a Thunderbolt Magnum, which of course means it comes from Harbor Freight, right? This is a 35 amp hour sealed lead acid. I still call them all AGM anyway. I don't care. Seal lead acid. And I've had this one also for about three years. And you have seen this one in several of my videos as well, if you've seen them. It still works very well. It has not lost any of its charge. All the connections and everything are still good. And it has the same capability it has when I brought it home. So, long term, yes. If you think three years is long term, then it's still running strong. Now. This one here is the youngest. It's also sealed lead acid, and it's only 18 amp hours. I've had it about a year. Use it less frequently than the most, but when emergency happens and we need emergency lighting somewhere, I frequently use it. As you probably also noticed, you've seen that in a video as well. So here are three AGM, relatively inexpensive. The 100 amp hour there is still under $200, I believe. I'll take a look and put a link. The Thunderbolt from Harbor Freight, you can still get around $50 if you get it on sale with a coupon. I think it's generally around $70, but I will find a link for you. And this one, I'll also find a link for you. It's still relatively inexpensive as well, even though I don't know right off how much it is at the moment. These prices change. I'll have to look. And, just so you know, expense doesn't mean a lot. 
I have bought thinking more money was better, have bought more expensive batteries. I have bought gel batteries for twice the price that has not lasted as long. Okay, so that answers the question, I hope. If you have any other questions about these batteries or long-term use of AGM, sealed lead acid, or gel batteries, let me know. Put it down in the comments. Please tell me what you think and your experience with these batteries or batteries like these. As always, I'd like you to share this if you know anyone that needs the information. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. That helps me keep the channel going. And I appreciate all you folks that do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So please like, subscribe, do a comment. Any comment, well, be nice, don't be mean. And shoestring.